Is there an invasive monster lurking in the waters of western New York? That's what workers from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service are trying to figure out. News 4's Katie Alexander tagged along this morning as they continued their sea lamprey survey. She shows us why this work is so important. Out here on the Cataraugus Creek, it is absolutely beautiful, but in these waters, there could be an aquatic invader. And these guys are on the lookout. That's the high pulse that will stun. These biological science technicians from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service have come to our area from their home base in Michigan to try to get a better idea of the sea lamprey situation here. What's in this stream ends up out in the lake, and that's where they do a lot of damage. Sea lampreys are an invasive species with few natural predators. And while they're relatively harmless as larvae, as adults then make their way into the Great Lakes, they're bloodsuckers that kill up to 40 pounds of fish every 18 months. So they can really hurt the ecosystem and the multi-billion dollar industry the fisheries support. They attach to the side of a fish and they rasp a hole through their skin with their tongue. Their tongue has teeth on it. and then they suck their blood. This crew is on the hunt for any sign of the lamprey's larva here to help target future chemical treatment plans to kill the jawless fish. Today, they're electrofishing, sending a small electric current through the sediment to disturb any larvae lurking there and destroy them before they can get to the lakes. At this site, they came up empty handed, a promising sign that the previous treatments here are working. But there is still a lot of work to do especially when it comes to the lampreys in Lake Erie. We're still about three times um, the target level, and uh, we're looking for a way to bring that down. Now, these guys are the experts. They know what they're looking for, but if you see something that you think looks like a sea lamprey, make sure you let them know about it. Katie Alexander, News 4.